Okay, it's Mr. Maltzman and Max again. Um, now we're going to make our last function, which is make a circle. So we're going to go back to variables, and we're going to create a uh, block. This one is going to be a motion block again, and it's going to be a make circle. Um, and it's also going to have a size. We'll call it radius, although I'm not totally sure. Okay, we're going to call it radius, and then we are going to do our usual pen down. We're going to do a repeat, so we're going to use control. Now this time we're going to repeat 360 times. Holy guacamole, because that's how many times we need to repeat for a circle. And we are going to move. And we're going to move radius steps. Um, and then we're going to rotate one degree each time. Wait, Dad? Yes, me? You don't know how to make a circle, so you need a computer program to do it for you? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess so. Okay, it's comedy hour here at the Maltzman house. Okay, and we're done with that. So now let's try our circle one. Make circle. And... I know from personal experience you need to put in really small numbers with the make circle, but let's see what happens. It's a lot slower than our other functions because it is doing a heck of a lot more. It's doing 360 different uh, rotations. Notice that 1.5 makes a pretty darn big circle. Um, 0.75 makes a smaller circle. And if we typed in a number uh, like one of our huge ones before, 2,000, let's say. This is just going to be weird. It looks like a straight line almost because the circle is so huge. But if you were to look at that line really closely, it's not straight. Okay, um, we are done with making a circle. So let's go ahead and save this one. And then we're going to use these three functions for something cool. Okay? Ooh, yay. Yay.